Today, we'd like to spend a couple of minutes showing you how to use our powerful marketing platform driven by artificial intelligence, compliance, as well as voice control. So, before we get started, if you haven't received an invitation from Woofy already, please go to our website, hellowoofy.com, and click on Join Waitlist. And momentarily after that, we can then give you the ability to join the platform on an invite basis. So let's switch screens and show you the platform. Welcome to Woofy. Woofy is an AI and compliance engine enabled social media marketing tool. Driven by color, you can see here on the left side, campaigns are shown in purple, single posts are shown in blue, and drafts are shown in green. You can also add hashtags over here by dropping down and choosing lists. Almost like playlists of hashtags that you can then use when creating a post. You can add new hashtags by clicking here. Simply type them up and you can say Venture Capital as a hashtag and save it to the Entrepreneur Hashtag category. You can add more as well, such as Startups, and put that there. Now you have collaboration tools on the right side. You can add colleagues to your team, or you can even add clients depending on your needs as a business. Simply fill out their username, fill out their email, and give them a role, whether it's admin, editor, manager, or viewer. Choose the calendars on the platform you'd like to give access to, and you can also choose the categories of content in your library. Let's click out of that. As you go into the Discover section, this is where you can see different kinds of content depending on what you're interested in finding out. This is a general view of Discover. When you click on, for example, Business, you see business-related content. When you click on, say, Software, you'll see technology and software-related content. You can click on any one of these and see a bigger view and you can add it directly to the library, or you can create a new single post immediately from this view. Let's exit that. When you go into a library, you can see the library is composed of multiple categories. Now think of these categories like shelves in your real library. You have the post once, you have the general category, you have the blog posts, inspirational quotes, etc. You can import content using multiple ways, including a CSV file, directly from a website using an RSS feed. You can also import images in bulk, as well as using a URL. Now with the URL feature, given any URL of a content or a piece of content like an article, it will then suggest multiple variations of quotes directly from the article using our AI. So let's go here and try to add a piece of content. The Smart Hashtag feature allows you to see trending hashtags at this moment. You can also type in an article such as this one from entrepreneur.com, which is about women leadership. You can go ahead and add quotes directly that it has sourced automatically using the artificial intelligence. Let's put that there. You can also add hashtags which Woofy knows is the best for using with this content. Let's add that there under the category tips in the library. And then we can also use the smart image recognition feature which finds images across the internet that you can add into this. So let's add this image here. Now it will do image recognition here and try to find out what is in the image and then spit out hashtags. So let's say mug and cool are good hashtags for this. Let's add this to the library. And congratulations, your new post is now in the library. You did it. Now here's to show you what happens when we test the compliance engine. Now if we were to copy and paste the exact same content and try to add it into the library, you'll immediately notice that the platform doesn't allow you to do that. And that's because of Twitter's terms of service, which prevents duplicated or too similar content from being posted over and over again. This prevents spamming in bots on the platforms. So let's go ahead and copy and paste the exact same content and choose the exact same category and choose the same image. 
if we can find it here. Now let's try and add this to our library. Now, what will happen is that the compliance engine will kick in immediately and say, oops, this is not okay. So now, what we're going to have to do is to make sure that it's 85% or less in similarity for posting to any social media platform. Let's go ahead and unchoose leadership. Let's choose business, companies and clients and delete this quote from here. and choose, perhaps, another quote by clicking here. There we go. And what we can also do is unchoose the hashtag call and leave the image as it is. Now let's see if this complies. And congratulations! It's the same article with a variation of the quote, with a variation of the hashtags, and it is now compliant, so you're good to go. Now, when you go into the calendar and run a campaign, you can see by colour the individual posts which are blue, and you can see long-term campaigns here, which are shown in purple. When you go into the calendar view, you can see how busy your days are by colour as well, from green to yellow to red. You can see the yellow days are moderately busy, the green days not too busy, and so on and so forth. When you go into the analytics, it gives you the ability to see basic analytics on your likes and comments and shares, depending on the single posts or the campaigns themselves. And you can see those individually, as well as how many categories were used. Under settings, you have multiple options for viewing which social media accounts are already connected, including the ability to turn on and off the capability for posting to those social media accounts. You can also add social accounts to this calendar such as Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn and soon Instagram. You also have the ability to change your name, your address, your time zone, the email associated with the account, as well as reset the password. In addition to this, you can refer family and friends to the platform. But keep in mind that this referral here does not add individuals to your account as colleagues or clients. That is simply an invitation coming from you as an exclusive email to join Woofy. If you want to add people to this account as a client or colleague, click on Home and head over to the Collaboration section on the right. The Stop Publishing capability is essentially a switch that allows you to stop publishing across a platform for whatever reason that may come up in the future. This stops all campaigns and single posts immediately until you click Continue Publishing. Let's click on No for now. Now one of the many benefits of this platform is the ability for you to command Woofy to start campaigns, navigate around the platform, to add hashtags and so on. Let's click on the icon down here on the bottom right that is the AI Assistant and ask Woofy to start a campaign. Create a campaign. Now what you'll see is a modal for creating a new campaign. You can turn on pattern recognition after you choose a specific series of dates, such as a Sunday, a Tuesday, a Thursday and a Saturday. Let's turn on pattern recognition. And what this allows you to do is essentially keep that pattern for every week, every two weeks, every month or so, depending on your scheduling capabilities. Now if you were to turn this off, you'd have the ability to choose other dates outside the week itself. So let's keep pattern recognition off and go to the next screen. Here you can call your campaign whatever you'd like, such as marketing campaign. Choose your social media accounts. Choose the time you'd like to post your content at, along with the categories you'd like to use for this campaign. Now keep in mind that all those categories are like shelves in your own library and those pieces of content are coming into this campaign for those specific few dates you've chosen in the screen before. Click Save and congratulations, your campaign has been created. So go ahead, head over to hellowoofy.com and get started today. It's time to take back your time with Woofy, social media's best friend.